Hi yo, Cryo here. Welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. Uh, before we hop into into the wall into the water, the first thing that I'm gonna do is go over some of the uh, the stuff here, some of the text, some of the text. The future of Xeno work from Isis Jax. Subject: The future of yeah. Okay, the same as the title. Hey there, Xeno workers. I know there's been a lot of rumors circulating, so I just want to clear some stuff up in the spirit of openness and transparency, which you know means a lot to us all here. First of all, no, Altera did not buy us. And Altera is that one big company from the first game that kind of like uh, doomed us a little bit. They're not the best company out there. We're still Xeno Works. We're not going to move offices or start having some kind of hierarchical structure or even... Okay, we'll report bugs, thank you. Or even like making you show up on site or anything like that, although you should for the snacks alone. We're still the scrappy, agile research for a startup y'all signed on to. So what does this controlling stake stuff mean? Well, I guess the most direct way to put it is it means more. More equipment, more research, more risk, more experimentation. More of everything that makes us great, and most of all, more cash. For you and your research, and, and yes, snacks. Lena will be in touch about exchanging your old gen Xenoworks PDAs for snazzy new Altera upgrades. And to help you get comfy with some really minor policy changes, they're gonna help us keep everything running nice. And I lost my place. Sorry, I was, I was checking to make sure my audio was okay. Uh, some running something something. Nice and smooth going forward. So yeah, congratulations to everyone. We did this together, and now we're going to be able to do so much more. Cheers, Isis Jax, Communication Specialist, Xenoworks. Dear Miss Ayu, is that us, Robin Ayu? On behalf of Zeta Landon, 4546B, Robotics Section Leader, and Injo Cormac, President of Altera Transgov, I regret to inform you of the death of Samantha Ayu. She died on planet 4546B regrettably as a result of injuries sustained in an accident arising from her own negligence. I'm not buying that. Please allow me to communicate the most profound condolences for the loss of your sister. Well, further details are unavailable at this time. Very convenient for them. Uh, you will receive contact from the Department of Insurance and Recuperation concerning your responsibilities as next of kin with regards to repayment of damages and legal fees. If you have any questions, you may file form blah blah blah, and your query will be ad addressed in sequential order. Sincerely, Emmanuel Destrardens, 4546B Communications li Liaison, Altera Transgov. Robin, guess what? I got the job. I'm going to 4546B. Now I'll be able to improve the mechanical avian amphibian under real world stress conditions. Listen. I know your stance on Altera, but I just hope you're happy your sis is happy. I sure hope my sis is happy. <laughs> I can't wait till we talk again. Oh, I wanted to ask you something. Can you watch my Augie while I'm away? I need someone no. I can trust to look after my best little potato. Potato? Oh, is it like a pet? <laughs> potato, listen. I tried, but that name is just not sticking. What's an Augstrobite? It's my little Augstrobite. I don't know what that is. I'll leave the starchy tubers and nicknames to you. I'm, I'm anyway, if you say yes, thanks, baby sis. Love you. I'm interested to see what creature that is and how cute it actually is. I mean, if our sister Sam thinks it's cute, then. Four five four six B to Robin. Right. Come in, Robin. <laughs> Remember when we used to play old timey space explorer? Yeah. This is kind of like that, but it's even harder to communicate. <laughs> Well, let's see. I got your last message. Altera is not, as you put it, alterrorizing me. Things are going well. <laughs> My oh, project has a new name. Alterrorizing. Say goodbye to the mechanical avian amphibian. And hello to spy penglings. Ooh. We're training the bots to mimic the creatures. Check out the photo. So it's like National Geographic. And I think I'm kind of seeing someone. I know it's not like me to just find a date let alone on a mostly uninhabited water planet, but... Actually, Wait, there's you know other what? people here? Forget I said anything. 
Yeah, it's, it's probably not even a real thing, but anyway, um, I'm sorry to hear Xenoworks might be strapped in the revenue department. Sounds like they still have you busy Xeno working, though. Oh yeah, you know. You know it. I know there's no way to guarantee an alien intelligence startup will succeed, but you've put so much into it. I hope they find a way to keep going. I know how much it means to you, getting to work in a small place where you have control over your research. All right, I gotta go. Later, baby sis. Love you. Love you too, kisses. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep on playing these messages. Uh, hey, while Robin. I do stuff in the background. I, I got your Augie photo. Thanks so much for taking care of him, even though he's a cranky potato. Hey, the nickname actually fits that way. A cranky potato. Yeah. I know he can a be potato. a handful, but I really appreciate it. I'm a bit worried about my other baby, the mission. One of my penguins found something, something big. Leviathan? But Altera is just like, nothing to see here. Honestly, There's something I'm kind of glad you can't answer, so you can't, you know, rub it in my face. I would do no such thing. Go ahead. Bask in the fact that you were a little bit right about them. My project is on the line. My job. My safety. Um, I heard about Xenoworks getting bought. I'm sorry. But at least you still have your job. I guess you're one of us now. Like it or not. Welcome to the Altera family. I, I should probably go before I say something I regret. Love you. Keep your chin up. Eye on the alien prize. Well, I do not like being on the Altera crew. Nothing ever, nothing good ever comes from being part of Altera. And I think there's like two more, yeah. Hey, Robin. I'm sorry my last message was so awful. I've been under a lot of stress. I'm not sure what's going on with anything. I can't really talk about it either. Oh, and I'm definitely not dating anyone on this water planet. Don't know what I was thinking there. Have I told you how cold it is here? Get this. I can't even get my wash and go dry before the wind freezes the moisturizer in my hair. Wild, right? Well, anyway. I'm sure you're mad at me after what I said. But I, I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. I'm sorry. Oh, don't make me cry. <laughs> don't make me cry. I'm not. I'm not ready. It's still pretty early in the hey, morning. Robin, I'm not ready for that. I really need someone to know. I'm afraid something terrible is going to happen. You were completely right about Altera, okay? You were right. I was wrong. The cat should be called Potato. I admit it. <laughs> Mm, sorry. Bad attempt at a joke. I, I just... I don't know what to do. I guess I should just come out and say it at this point. I've said this much already. We found a frozen leviathan that's infected with Kara. Altera thinks they can use it for something. Weapons, experimental treatments, a whole range of things. But one end of the range is... ugly. Dangerous. But, but profitable, of course. What if it gets out while we're messing around with it? Mm -hmm. Or worse, what if it ends up a bioweapon in the wrong hands? I, I hope I'm overreacting, but I don't think I am. Anyway, message me back, please. I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. Okay, great. So the Kara virus is back. Um, so that's exciting. That was the virus that infected our player in the first Subnautica game. Great. Now it's in a Leviathan. Well, I mean, it was originally in like the wildlife on the planet. It's like in various fish, and also I think in some Leviathans. But this one is in a larger Leviathan than we've seen thus far. But it's frozen, so I don't... Well, I'm not sure if it's alive or is just preserved. I don't know. I don't really want to find out, but I have a feeling I'll find out if it's going to attack me or not sooner or later. 
probably later because you know I'm still getting my feet wet literally and figuratively all right I'll grab I'm just grabbing all the ribbon plants I can so I can make a plethora of batteries I'm just stockpiling at the start because I have a feeling I'm gonna need oxygen a lot of batteries as per usual my first priority for this episode should be well, I mean I say first priority so I've been like 11 minutes but I should definitely look for that third sea glide fragment so you can get moving at a quicker pace don't know where any of the biomes are what biomes are safer than others I'm not sure which also means I don't know where I'm going to build my base at yet. Uh, I mean, maybe I want to do like a starting base in the shallows, maybe? Then again, we already have our kind of pod here. I don't know if it would really be beneficial to just have a base right next to our life pod. So I'll probably head out further and look for a cool looking location to build my base at. Well, I mean, after I scout out the area to make sure there's no scary leviathans just scrounging around the area. Could be cool to have leviathan friends. Some of the wildlife down here is Oh, this is just what she said grabby. before. If I didn't know better, I'd say they're after my supplies. Yeah. I. What are they going to do with a scanner anyways? Like, what's a sea monkey going to do with a scanner? Is it gonna scan things? Maybe. In goes a battery in titanium. Now comes a scanner. Every xenobiologist's favorite tool. This planet has some fascinating flora and fauna, and I can't wait to learn about them. This will also give me access to a greater tool set. I'm assuming Altera left behind tech that I can scan for blueprints. That should make surviving and exploring out here a bit easier. Don't worry, Sam. I haven't forgotten I'm here for you. But it can't hurt to do a little research on the side, right? I know you would have done the same. I will find out what happened to you. I promise. Right, yeah, just don't don't research too much. Because I, if you research too much, you find yourself face-to-face -face with a leviathan. And sometimes face-to-jaw with a leviathan. Yeah, so I guess, I guess the uh, air temperature... It's just colder than the water. I don't have to worry about the temperature underwater. Which is good because I have no idea how to heat myself up yet. Or what devices I can build to do that. I wonder if I have the blueprints to make a habitat builder yet. I would imagine so. There is a plethora of ribbons. Oh, uh, wait, uh, what now? Wait, what? A double lung plant? I guess it does kind of look like a pair of lungs. It's, it's pretty cool, yeah. What is down there? I'm just, I am full of awe. Frost anemone. Okay, well, at least now we know where to find quartz and salt at. I probably should have scanned the, uh... Scanned the quartz before I picked it up. I'll scan you. Never mind. Wait, can I not? Evidently, I cannot. Very well. Bladderfish, bladderfish. Oh, bladder, 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 bladderfish. Come here. What is this? Looks very bulbous and egg-like. Hey guys, how are you doing? Do -do -do -do. Doing a little dance. Doing a dance with my penguin friends. Oh, careful. I don't trust you yet. I'm not fully on board with being all buddy-buddy with the penguins. Penguins. I had my trust betrayed by the, by the sea monkey. Stole my scanner. 
As far as I could tell, so far the penguins seem like they're friendly. I'm not going to judge a penguin by its feathers. And I just took the longest route to the door as I could have possibly taken. Uh, of course, I'll, I'll make some, some glass. Wait, do I just have infinite energy on this thing? Because I don't see, like, a base power level. Interesting. Interessant. Two silicone rubber. Oh, don't I have that? Hold up. Oh, I have plenty of that. I I should make fins. To go splish splish. That's what fins do. Cool. I don't know why I didn't craft that sooner. And our ratio of ribbon plants to copper is not great. Two, three, four, five. So we need... Well, actually, we just need one more copper. So once we get the sea glide, that'll use up some resources, so... That should clear up some room in our locker. And also... I would imagine we'd be able to craft a another, like a waterproof locker or something, or build another wall locker. Alright, Sea Glide. I'm looking for you. Always watching. Okay, there's the other piece of copper that we need. But I'm still not seeing. I'm not seeing the sea glide. Let me see the sea, 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 and if I could see the sea, sea, then I could glide on the sea, sea. I mean, we got plenty of titanium at this point. I don't need more. No more, please. I've, I've had my fill of titanium. Let me breach the surface and go back into the data bank. Uh, Argentite outcrop, a mineral deposit that often contains silver and titanium. Galena contains lead and titanium. Limestone, uh, titanium and copper. Pingling. Young penguins tend to huddle on dry land awaiting their next meal. Consume almost exclusively fish regurgitated by the adults in the huddle. Hang on, let me dive underwater to get warm. That doesn't... Maybe that is how it works. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not an expert on, on temperatures and water. Uh, if separated from the huddle, the adults will become agitated and begin searching for their young pinglings. So please don't do this. So they're harmless. Pingwings, bird-like creature, hunts small fish below the water, huddles in packs on the ice above. Uh, small prey fish regurgitates them for its young. Retractable tail and claws allow for fast evasion of predators underwater, and maximum grip on the ice. Sharp teeth concealed inside the beak can tear chunks out of aggressors and prey alike. Huddles and packs on the surface for protection against the cold. Less cuddly than they look. I knew I was right to not trust them. I guess it's, it's only if I, like, get near their babies or something. Sea monkey, I remember you. Medium size, uh, intelligent herbivore shows great interest in other life forms and their possessions. More research is needed to understand this life form. Uh, two finger like appendages on each forearm. They have suction pads so they can manipulate objects like scanners. A uh, large turquoise chest or crest is made of rigid bone, possibly used as ram, although this has not been observed. Sea monkeys ram the ocean, or roam the ocean. Almost playfully, largely fearless of predators. Uh, seen to form small nests where they hoard objects of interest for unknown purposes. Oh, can you find like just random objects and fragments in the sea monkey nests? Because I found one of the sea glide fragments there. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, sea monkey nests. They are large, bowl like stru structures made of packed sediment and plant matter. Sea monkeys use their wide flat tails to pack the materials to form the structure. Sea monkeys are naturally curious creatures, often drawn to metallic materials, which they gather to reinforce the sides of their nests. An arctic peeper. Fast prey fish camouflaged against the ice. 
relatively fast and intelligent, allows it to survive in large numbers. Don't like the auto-generated name. Suggested ice cloths. Um, they are edible. Uh, bladder fish. Here's resemblance, uh, literal resemblance to life forms around it. Permeable filter. Okay, so filters seawater, pumps out water. Oblivious to threats. It's, it's a dumb, a dumb, dumb fish. Uh, so you're edible. Oxygen can be retrieved from the bladder. Add to tanks on consumption. Wait, really? Okay. Oh, okay, I guess that makes sense. If you stay still, does your temperature drop? It does. Yeah, so you have to, like, be on the move to make sure your temperature... I mean, that makes sense. That makes biological sense. Uh, okay, boomerang suggest adaptation for grinding corals. Uh, other herbivores are unable to digest. Two fins are a card cartilaginous extension of a skeleton. Less prone to damage, provides superior propulsion. Most active during daylight hours, prone to flee on approach. The boomerang can more easily be observed at night when its luminescence gives away or gives it away, and it seeks the shelter of the seabed. Okay, camouflage for mid-range light wavelengths. More active at dawn and dusk. And they evade predators en masse. Oh, uh -huh. c'est France. C'est Francais. Uh, it's more social than defensive. Lone hoop fish are found hunting for food. Generally curious. Uh, so I guess I will... I'll kind of like stay still on these and you can pause the episode if you want to read about any of the entries. Obviously, you have to take breaks to, to stay warm and uh, breathe. This breathing is important. Oh, you can harvest them for food, apparently. Good to know, good to know. Okay, so from the looks of it, uh, the ribbon plant actually takes the role of the acid mushroom. I don't remember scanning this, the scaly maw anemone. Okay, we are finally done with all the entries. I didn't want to read all of them, my throat's already kind of getting a bit... Uh, but, well, not really sore, just tired of reading. Still looking for that, uh... Oh. The penguin just got a fish. Congratulations, you won. We're still on the hunt. Oh, is that a sea glide fragment? It is. Well, look at that. So let's head back to our pod. And to craft ourselves a sea glide. To glide across the sea, so to speak. Let's go into here. Hello, hello. Lubricant and copper wire. And we have both of those. Ooh, sounds like a storm. A storm is rumbling. It's a rumbling and it's a tumbling. The Sea Glide is a personal transportation device used for high speed free diving. Contains a built in light and map. Good to know. Rumble, 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 rumble. 
Let's get ready to rumble and tumble. And sure, yeah, I will make a copper wire. Wait, I'm just flat out out of space. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't look like I can actually craft the habitat builder yet, so for now, I'll just have to deal with uh, the waterproof locker. And I'll just stick you right outside. Boink. All Terra beacon signature detected. Unique oh. identifier. Delta station dock. Oh, okay. Delta station, you say? Delta station. This is the place Lil mentioned in her message. Lil? We I mean Lillian? Okay, there we go. So we have two new sources of uh, stuff and things. Uh, how do we make the grav trap? Because that could be good for food. Ingredients unknown. Oh, I still have to scan another fragment, I think. That's, that's fine. It's fine and dandy. So for now, we'll just have to go around it. Picking up the random fish. We'll convert the uh, bladder fish into water bottles and other ones we'll just cook them. I think it was. Yeah, it is over here. It says something about me being able to harvest these. Oh, yeah, look at that. I, I have no idea if these go bad or not. So I'll, I'll take like a few of these back and put them in a locker and then I'll just see if they go bad or not. I'll bring back like four and then I'll leave that, I guess, one there. Yeah, the sea glide makes it so much faster to just get around places. What are you doing up here, Peeper? This poor little guy's landlocked. I'll put him out of his misery. Signal lost, what? Oh wait, so when you're on land... I mean, that makes sense. There's a topographical map for, uh, underwater. Oh, nice. They made it easier to actually toggle off the map now. See, so press F. That is so much better. Because before you had to, like, um, click, right click, right click was the only thing you could use to toggle anything. So you had to, like, toggle through it a few times to actually turn off the map. But now there's a separate button for it, which I appreciate. Still a lot of rumbling. I didn't mean to cook that peeper. It's my bad. Oh, okay, so it looks like... Yeah, yeah, that is it. So if it has a green bar on the side there, it either means how much battery life it has left, or how well it's gonna stay until it goes bad, or how long it's gonna stay. So as you can see, the cooked peeper still has quite a bit of lifetime in it before it goes bad. Raw fish do not have the green bar, which means you can just Storm forever, I guess. Interesting. So I suppose I'll just keep all this food on me. And and just eat it eat it as I go along. Now I'm not sure if there's anything I'm gonna wanna do uh, before I head over to this next beacon. The uh, Delta Station. I mean, we could probably check it out. There's 600 meters away. Alright, off we go. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of whatever is at the Delta Station dock.
Uh, another sea glide fragment. Extra titanium. What is that? Ooh, I'm noivous. I'm noivous, guys. Oh, uh, that looks dangerous. Just a live wire underwater. I'll keep my distance. What is over here? What do we got? Mineral mineral detector fragment? Yeah, I'll scan everything up here. New blueprint synthesized. Supply crate. Can I not scan the trash can? Or the, is this not a trash can? I don't think it is. Okay, I think that's everything. So I'll just hop down here and not jump into the live wire. That'd be good. But that wasn't even the Delta Station dock, though. It's going to be nighttime. That's a deep water down there. You know, let's be brave boys and just head over this empty ocean floor below us. That is terrifying. Warper. This sounds like a warper. It sounds like a distress call. No. Transmission of unknown origin. No. Source of transmission depth calculated at approximately 200 meters. Oh, it's nighttime. I mean, we're, well, we're almost here anyways. I don't like this. What am I doing over here? Why am I here? This is a bad idea. Oh, everything is brand new here. All right, let me get a breath of water. Or, I mean, the breath of air. Okay, never mind, it's not that bad. Oh, that's what the rumbling is. The rumbling's just the, uh... I think, like, a thermal thing. Like a blow underwater Mineral volcano. Crevices detected below. Geothermal yeah, geothermal. Detected. Caution advised. Never mind, I thought it was a... Uh, I thought it was a leviathan. Not so. Up we go to the Delta Station Dock. And there's a beacon here. Cool. Uh, but we'll actually do this on the uh, on the next episode because we've been running for about 40 minutes. I'm not sure how long I want to make these yet. But it seems like the episode's been running for quite a while. So until next time, remember to stay cool, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.